find their brand of basketball. Welcome, maybe the best day of the NBA, Thursday night, and we're happy you could be here with us. I'm Kevin Harlan, with me at the table, Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And we've also got Hall of Famer David Aldridge reporting from the sidelines. Now the starting group for the visitors. loose to the paint tries again he lays it in he's got a knack for those putbacks so you have to be aware of that defensively get a body on him and here's the break and he drops it in from the low post yeah going hard to the rack making a statement here early on yeah it's nice to see him be assertive instead of settling for a jump shot especially in the first quarter and you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time and you gotta love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there sets the tone in a close game like this one fires from deep off to a good start as he hits time his out, first shot out. attempt. There was a time you could get yelled at for Mark. taking a three like that, but now it's a great decision, and it paid off. You know, trying to stem the tide here. On the wrong side of a scoring run here, we might see a lineup change. I'll, I'll be pretty curious. to the wing. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And the first one at the line is good. He hits both from the strike. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. Three-pointer. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. From 13, and a little luck that time, but it drops. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. See, this is what analytics don't take into account. Some guys thrive in the mid-range. Really depends on the shooter. It's actually kind of lazy. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. No good with the layup. Gone two of two from three point range here in the first quarter. Another shot, and that's two points on the layup. And, and getting after it on the offensive glass and adding to that early total with the putback. With the start that he's having, I expect a monster night. Knocked away. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. 
and some very quick points for him on that possession. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. Down low. A second chance effort. And it's good on the way in. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. First free throw is good. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. That free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. Gone six of eight in the game so far. A very solid start for them. We've got 155 left to play here in the first. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. Yeah, they haven't appeared in a rush at all. They are just playing to their strengths and building this lead out well. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. gone two for four from the field so far today. Stay there, stay there, stay there. 144 left in the first quarter. To the middle. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Fires for three. Sinks the triple. Six points for him. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. They got off to such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. We've got 108 left to play in the first quarter. Five on the clock. And that one's drained from the low block. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Passes it to Big Smooth. Makes it off the glass. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. A three-pointer off the mark. Gone three of three from deep. Nine points rung up from outside here in the first. Gone three of seven from the field since we've gotten underway. There's 14 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And here we go. And he's going up for the alley-oop. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stuff. <laughs> Once he poked it away, you knew what was on his mind. Domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. Leading by 17. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but... 
This one has been one-sided so far. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? You, you got to credit their defense, communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. It's been a group effort, and that's what it takes to play the kind of defense that they've played. Great showing from them. You know, Greg, you played on some gritty teams, and we hear that expression, getting punched in the mouth, and it's not usually literal, but... What's that look like on the floor? What's it feel like on the court? Kevin, you, you're just out hustling and out muscling the team. At times, you'll see it. They kind of checked out mentally. And, and I'll tell you what, it is one of the best feelings in sport. Four seconds left. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. To the paint. And he finishes nicely on the layup. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. Hope loose. Six to shoot. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Intercepted. Come get it. To the inside. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. He gives up a bit of size at the center position, but his leaping ability, well, let's just say that makes up for it. Not loose. Come to me, come to me. He goes up again, and the layup is good. 13 points in the game. And, guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful about that. He can't be happy with that soft interior D. Inside, and he takes that one up and powers it through. I'll be honest, he's having a better quarter than a lot of my nights back when I played. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Clearly a foul. And he knocks down the first one. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Gone three or four from long range in the game. Wing shot on the way. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Yeah, coach has to be thrilled. You can draw up all the X's and O's you want, but guys have to go out there and execute with enthusiasm. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Way to hit it. 
And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. The tray trains the three-pointer. He has six. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? No good from 18. Gone a nice three or three to start the second. Down low. And he gets it to go. Nice feed inside, saw the play develop, and hit him right when he needed to. I now I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Now we see more and more top prospects bypass college or even leave high school early to make six figures playing for G League Ignite. For many years, going pro at such a young age was something we only saw abroad, but that reality is now here. Kevin? I like it too, David. The landscape is shifting, and I think for the better. Thank you for the report. Takes it inside, and that one is stuffed right through. Oh, here he comes, and there he goes. Oh, look at him punish that rim. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And a block like that sends a message one that says we're not giving up this lead it's good from about 19 feet and the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot yeah as soon as these guys feel contact they are just disappearing like they're not even there you gotta show some fire and keep defending it's deflected We've got 118 left in the second quarter. We've gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter. Up over 50%. Tipped away. Inside. The layup off target gone three or four from long range in the game. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Gone five of eight from the floor here in the second quarter. Over 60% shooting. Shoots. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now. Shooting a terrific percentage from the field. We've got 22 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. He takes it in. That's tipped. Wow. Wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. And he makes the first. So he gets them both. 16 seconds left here in the second. The 11th footer. They get it back. With one on the clock, and the jumper is on the mark. Seven points in the game. And the D just a step slow, reacting to the step back. So. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. There's been just outrageous 64% from the field at this point. Misses the three. Leading with confidence, 50% from the field so far. 
and the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. And, and Kevin, I got to tell you, he's probably fortunate to just get a flagrant one there. I mean, so much contact. The officials easily could have gone even harder on him. Greg, I agree. He better be on his best behavior from now on. One more flagrant of any variety, and he's out of here. Richard, you grew up in Arizona. Uh, what do you think of the Suns right now and what they've done the last two seasons? Oh, how much time do you got? All my <laughs> friends back home are just loving it. Chris Paul, he has helped change the culture with Monty Williams. Great job by the front office. They have put in so much young talent, and they have coached them up. They are a complete team. And like I said, how much time you got? We could do this all day. We could indeed. They get a hand on it. Here we go. Oh, my wow. goodness. What a oh play. Oh, my. Oh, he's putting on a show for these fans. I can't believe he pulled that one out in the course of an actual game. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. It's deflected. Three-pointer, basket number eight for him on 13 tries. That's 62% so far. And no doubt about it, in order for them to be successful, he has got to be a catalyst when it comes to scoring. Lays it up, and in spite of the excellent defense at that. And one more look at that fantastic mobile one drive. And just look at how he navigates his athleticism is eye-opening. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. Offensive rebound. And it's in there. He's got 17. How frustrating for the defense. You get the stop, but then fail to block out. And you can see them just deflate after giving up that score. And they know that they can't dig themselves out of this hole if they're allowing second-chance points. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And this is how you protect and grow a lead, by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Shot clock at six. That's tipped. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. First one falls for him. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Gone one of three since starting the second half. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And he knocks down the first one. And so he hits both. Gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Let's the three fly. Won't go in for the sixth time in 14 shots tonight. He's made eight, being pretty good tonight at 48%. Knocks it loose. And 
and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. First free throw is good. Good on both. Gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Floats one, count it, and with that basket, he's now nine of 15 from the floor. Knocked away. To the middle. And they're moving it up from downtown. He doesn't hit that one. Second shot opportunity, and the shot is good. He's got eight. Really strong rebounding on the interior, and he gets the easy putback. One forty-four left in the third quarter. Watch the screen. Screen, 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 screen. Out to the right wing. No good with the wing jumper. Gone two of five shooting here in the third quarter. Driving the lane. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. So it's the visitors now. The biggest lead of the game was twenty-four points. One eleven left to play in the third. Count that bucket. Big Smooth got his second basket of the night. And just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. That shot, no good. Gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Forty-one seconds left in the third. Step back shot. It's deflected. Five to shoot. I'm deep drills the three-pointer and the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot yeah as soon as these guys feel contact they are just disappearing like they're not even there you gotta show some fire and keep defending well there you go one team operating on all cylinders at both ends steals fast break buckets and, and the other team in scramble mode the three quarters of play all in the books and this one all but over already here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. That is why he is a point guard in this league. He has the elite passing ability, the vision. You need both to play the point guard. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Poked away. To the inside, six on the shot clock. The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. That is really good work there on the offensive glass.
to the paint. Off with the layup. Gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Didn't think that was going to go in. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. Inside from 12 feet out. The shot no good. Gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. And he throws it down hard with one hand. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. They've played fantastic ball, and you can feel the hush that's come over this crowd. To halt the run, and that one good. Gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. And the first one drops. And so he makes both from the line. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Ball's knocked loose. Nice spin off the left rim and in. 28 points for him. And really the story of this second half. One team getting the shots they want. The other, not so much. And start with their defense. They've been intense on that end. And they can actually help their offense as well. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. And the first one at the line is good. That one is no good. Gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Can't get it to fall. Gone an outstanding four of five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. Got a piece of it. Six to shoot. And that's going to be out of bounds. And they retain possession. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Just three to shoot. The putback, great positioning on the putback. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. That's tipped. at four and that one's on target from the wing they're getting beat up pretty badly out there and I don't care what anybody says you can't keep the status quo if it ain't working you got to make some changes pass to Sato clock at six 
And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. He's off on the first. It's the second from the line. Boy, he'd sure like to have that miss back. Hard to chip away at a lead when you're leaving freebies at the line. One thirty-one left in the fourth quarter of this one. Off target with his three. Gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. Off the back rim, no good. Gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Fader on the way. It's good. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. And as it should be, to be this dominant on another team's floor, look, when you go home, you're going to go home feeling good. To the wing on the left. Out left to the wing. Tries it from 19. They get the rebound. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Really unfazed. Throw his height right out the window there. And they can just dribble the ball until the buzzer. Yeah, they got to be happy with the outcome. And so the road team gets the W in this one. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look 